Whatever screen you're watching this on, whatever chair you're sitting in, whatever clothes you're wearing, whatever glass is by your side, it almost certainly came to you from far away. And it almost certainly came to you in containers like these and on a ship like this. I'll put some stuff in here, put some stuff down there. Here's another place for stuff here. I'll put some stuff over there. You put your stuff over there, I'll put my stuff over here. Here's another place for stuff. Hey, we got more places than we've got stuff. We're gonna have to buy more stuff. Bunker fuel is the material that is burned in most ships, and it's used motor oil. This stuff should not be burned. This stuff is revolting. I asked, it should I asked not be burned. Him. Thanks to climate change, melting ice has opened new routes for ships and raised concerns. Using the Arctic route can cut the travel distance by 7,000 kilometers compared to the conventional shipping route through the Suez Canal. There's a war over who will run this Egyptian waterway, the Suez Canal. Due to climate change and the melting of the polar ice caps, it's predicted that the Northern Sea Route will be available for shipping companies to use. The future of the world economy, to some extent, is dependent on the Arctic. It's not a question of if the Arctic will be developed, it's happening. It, it's going to be like the Wild West. On such enormous vessels, some close to 1,000 feet long, even the blue whale, the largest animal in the world, is nearly impossible to see. Shipping lanes have been moved. Ships have been asked to slow down. Maybe there are some times when you don't allow any shipping. These images aren't something politicians can ignore. These dark deposits absorb heat, melting more ice. Targeting black carbon to reduce global warming. It stays in the air less than a few weeks. When you initiate a policy to cut down black carbon today, they're gone two weeks from now. In the worst case, we will melt all the ice on the planet, which would mean a 250-foot rise in sea level. LNG is one of the fastest growing sources of energy in the world. Do you think LNG is a good transition? I'd rather move to renewable energy. Black carbon might be the easiest problem to fix. We have time to adapt but we have no time to waste. It will require a united world. We could all benefit from learning to see the sea.